average daily membership is kind of complicated, and most people don't understand it. But it's really important that people understand how school systems are funded. Every year, DPI projects the next year's membership in a district. And they use some formulas based on prior enrollment, demography within a community, birth rates, population growth, and other things. And they project what your membership will be. Your initial allotments, teaching positions, instructional supplies, things like that, are all funded based on that projection or your prior year actual membership, whichever is higher. Once the school year begins, the state compares the first and second month's average daily membership with the number used for the initial allotments. If the average daily membership is within 2% or 100 students of what was used for the initial allotments, then your funding stays the same. But if you are 2% or 100 students below the average daily membership used for the initial allotments, then certain allotments are reduced based on one half of the difference in the membership numbers. And the opposite is also true. You can receive additional funding if your actual membership is 2% or 100 students above the average daily membership used for the initial allotments. But a district has to request that increase. So again, it can be a little bit complicated, but especially right now, it's really important that people understand how school systems are funded.